What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out this video. Today we're having a look at the new Longer Ray 5. This is the 40 watt version. These things just get a little bit bigger every year. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I started out on the Ray 5. This was my very first laser I ever did. We've done some upgrades to it over the years. We put the bigger module on. This is a 30 watt. Um, one of the most popular lasers out there. It's a really good bang for the buck for beginners. They've made some improvements to the laser as far as handling this bigger module. If you're going to keep it as a 10 watt, the original Ray 5 is totally fine. If you're looking to upgrade down the road, that's where the improvements have come in, as well as a few changes down here on the screen. So I guess we'll get straight into them and just have a look at what they've changed. So we have the big 40 watt module on here and you can see it's nice and solid. That was the main issue when upgrading from the 10 watt to the 20 or 30. The frame just wasn't really built for the extra weight. So you can see it sort of tilts on the axis there. A lot of play in the laser module. And that was kind of the number one complaint when people would upgrade to the larger unit. They found it was a little bit unstable. This one, not the case at all. Very, very solid. The reason for that is we've got two lower wheels here. So there's no way for it to pivot on that bottom of the frame. If you look over here, I can kind of rotate those on that side rail. So. That's been improved. They've also moved the motor over here. The motor is on the right side of the chassis now with this belt that runs top and bottom to the, uh, the laser assembly. Over here, we have the motor on that top center location. So a couple little changes as well as the limit switch. It's mounted here on the side instead. Uh, they have it on the bottom on this one. They've also increased the size of the frame just a little bit to accommodate the larger uh, laser head. Down here on the screen, we've got an air assist built in, which is really nice. So your power comes in the side of the module, power out to the air assist is right here and you can control that through light burn. So the air assist is not running 24 seven. You've also got the emergency stop here. A couple other little features we'll get into. I'm going to uh, set this thing up and we'll do some cuts with it. If you've ever assembled a Ray 5, it's basically identical. I'm not going to get into the setup too much it's very very similar so we'll set it up and do some cutting that's kind of what the uh the big 40 watt module is for is cutting thicker materials so we'll see how that does okay so we're all set up over here ready to cut some 3 8 plywood i just have a little scrap down here on the bed this is the larger included honeycomb that comes with the 40 watt i have it sitting on this little smoke box i've made just a metal box comes over here and lets me connect my smoke extraction to it. This is just a little 3D printed adapter I made that screws onto the side. If that's useful to anybody, let me know. I'll give you the file for that if you are working on something like this yourself. It would be nice to see the Ray 5 available with a full enclosure. I know that adds a lot of cost to the laser. This uh, type of laser in a full enclosure would probably run you around $1,500. That seems to be the going rate up to about 2000. So it does keep the cost down, but it would be nice to have full extraction on there. Going to go ahead and fire it up. This is probably my main complaint about this larger module is the sound. I wish there was a way for this fan to be adaptive and cool the fan only when it was necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and fire up the laser and you can take a listen. So that was 3 8 ply on a single pass. That was 100% power at 500 millimeters per minute. And it came out pretty nice. If I was gonna be doing a lot of that, I would probably speed it up a little bit and run a second pass, but that's pretty impressive to chop out some 3 8 like that. So uh, as you can see here, that was 500 at 100. I'm gonna see if I have anything a little bit thicker and we'll try to slice that up as well. Okay, I've got the half inch ply loaded up. This is a pretty big sheet, but we're just gonna try to take a little corner out of it here. I can't say that I've ever successfully cut half inch plywood with a diode laser like this. I'm gonna leave it on the same power, 100% at 500 millimeters per minute, but I've got it set to three passes. So we'll see what that does. I don't wanna burn anything by going much slower than 500 mil. So we will go ahead and see what it can do.
Okay, so it definitely went through. I can see it down there. Oh yeah, look at that. Holy. Wow, that's actually impressive. I have never seen a diode laser go through half inch quite that easy. I think it went through on the second pass. Maybe to be clean it would need three, but that's pretty good. I did actually do it once over here already. Didn't quite go through, I didn't film it accidentally. Um, it didn't quite push through, it's through, but just a little piece of glue was hanging on, so that's pretty crazy. Well, as you saw, the Ray 5 has no problem slicing through some half inch plywood. I was impressed, honestly more shocked that it was able to get through that. That was pretty cool. If you're looking to do some cutting, the 40 watt is definitely the way to go. If you're maybe just looking to do uh, engraving or just starting out, the 10 watt is still a good bang for the buck. It's definitely cheaper than the 40, but if you're looking at the 20 or the 30, I would probably skip those and go straight to the 40 just because of the improved chassis. Other than that, still pretty much the same old Ray 5 everybody's used to. A couple improvements down here as far as software. Uh, this is a big one, the output for the air assist definitely like that I'm also happy to say all of my other little jigs and accessories I made for the Ray 5 still fit the 40 watt they've changed nothing with the legs so if you bought my jig kit or my leg riser kit they still do fit you don't have to go and uh, look for something new so I haven't made a new chain yet the mounting is a little bit differently or sorry a little bit different for the drag chain I honestly probably won't even bother with the tariffs shipping into US right now I just I've discontinued them on my store it's not worth shipping into the US with the tariffs right now so um, keep an eye, I might put it back up on the store in the future, but if you're looking for a new Ray 5 that can cut some serious wood, definitely check out the 40 watt. I'll probably make some more videos on this in the future, just wanted to get this one up for a quick cut test. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.